Hey everyone, welcome to the Earrings by Angela channel and thank you for joining us on our Zen series. Um, today I want to share with you some things about um, using creative visualization and um, some part of me was using this and didn't understand what it was years ago and now that I've educated myself on it, I realize I've been doing it <laughs> pretty much the whole time. And maybe you have too. Um, so I'll share with you two stories about how I use creative visualization to enhance my life because it has enhanced it so much. And it's crazy because so many crazy I shouldn't say crazy that's one of my favorite words so <laughs> but it's enhanced my life so much that it's like oh my goodness I I don't know I don't know I don't know how I got there or whatever but it just seemed like it was a miracle it was amazing and I couldn't help but to be like oh my gosh this is different. It almost feels like a superpower. So, you know, we learned, um, if you've ever watched the movie The Secret or read the book The Secret, and they talk about the laws, law of attraction. And if you haven't read the book, I'll put the link in there. But they talked about visualizing what you want as if you're already in it so it's almost like you're creating this movie and you can see the scenes you can feel what's going on you can hear the conversations it really seems real like almost like you're you're dreaming while awake that's that's the way that I can explain it but so I remember one day um it was before the pandemic, <laughs> you know, the good old days. <laughs> it was before the pandemic. And I remember I was working on something that was so stressful and I just shut everything down. I was like, this is just too much. This is too much. It's overwhelming. You know, I'm not finding peace in this. <laughs> it's the real thing, y'all. And I'll be honest, when I'm not finding peace in it, I shut it down. Like, no, I got to go back to my good place, right? Well, because you need that creative energy, too. So I was laying down, and you come into my bedroom, which this shocks people because I invite people in. Uh, this is where I like to spend a lot of my time. But I have on the ceiling, I have two affirmations. And in between those affirmations, I have this beautiful scenery. One is of a waterfall with like, it looks like, I'm looking at it now, you guys. It looks like an eagle um, flying above it and all the greenery and there's clouds with a rainbow going on, right? And then on the other side is where the sun is starting to set and you have those beautiful purple, oranges and pinks and there's palm tree and the ocean and the sandy beach and I remember I got these images from a calendar that I used to have um, and so I, I want to keep these two and just get lost because sometimes I just lay there and I just get lost and dreaming in that and I remember this was one of those days and I said I was looking at the one with the palm trees and the beach and, and whatnot and I said, Lord, I need a vacation. I just, I want to go somewhere that I don't know. I just want to go. And so I started imagining myself on that beach that's in the picture and being able to experience the sun setting and whatnot. And all of a sudden, my phone rang. Usually I put my phone on silent or do not disturb. Um, but my phone rang and I was like, hmm. So you know how you snap out of stuff. 
And it was my my friend, my best. And the first thing he said was, what are you doing next week? I was like, um, I have a few projects, but nothing that's really due, you know. He said, you want to go on an adventure? Hell yeah, I want to go on an adventure. Where are we going? <laughs> and that was, I kid you not, that was my my organic response, you guys. And he said, well, I want to go on this cruise. And it leaves such and such. And no one else can go. But we got to drive, you know, to Miami. I was like, okay. You ain't said nothing but a word, you know. And I had agreed to it. And I was like, wait a minute. I don't have, you know, do I have time to do this? You know, he starts doubting. And I remember, I was like, didn't you just pray for this? You just said you needed a vacation. And in less than an hour, you have the answer. So I said, let's do it. Mind you, <laughs> I hadn't you know, planned on it, but I was like, let me, let me be spontaneous, and then later when I thought about it, and I was doing my gratitude journal, I was like, whoa, whoa, I saw myself on the beach, and I said, Lord, I need a vacation, and he answered quickly and lined that up, so of course I was going to start writing my gratitude journal, like, I'm so grateful, whatever else. Needless to say, so we went, and it was a cruise. Um, oh, gosh, because we've taken so many, though. Where was it going? It was definitely Jamaica. Where are we going? It was Jamaica, Grand Cayman Islands, and I believe we went back to Cozumel. I'm trying to really think because, listen, we vacation a lot together, so I'm like, who was with us on this trip? But either way. So I remember we went on that trip and I did get the beach and I wasn't on the beach when I saw the sun setting, but I was on the cruise ship laying in a hammock watching the sunset with my ankles crossed. I had never been on a hammock before, so this was great, with my ankles crossed and I was filming the sun going down. I said, wow. I just, this is amazing. This is amazing. But what happened? The first thing I did was I visualized it. And it came true. So that's that story. Um, the most recent one is if you've been following, um, with the gratitude series, you'll know that I broke my ankle. And <laughs> so I'm, I'm, you know, still recovering from that. I've been learning how to walk again. So, yay. But what I did was, what I realized was this creative visualization was actually doing is helping me in all areas of my life. So here's an example. When I, first of all, when you break <laughs> your ankle, I can only speak about that because that's the only experience I had. My very first break, <laughs> and it, I waited until 44 to get it, right? <laughs> I don't mind telling y'all my age because, uh, you know, time is timeless. But anyway, so I realized now I'm in a new world. You know, my world just got smaller. I'm in a new world where I have to learn how to do everything. And everything is calculated. So imagine how, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you have to use the restroom. You might just hop out of bed and just go ahead to the bathroom. No, 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 no. Not me. Because my world had changed. I had to lay there for a while to get 
awakened enough to be able to reach in the dark for my crutches and visualize myself going to the bathroom without bumping into the wall. And how is this going to be? How, which leg are you going to use to get up first? Every little step had to be calculated. So that's when I'm awakening. That's what I have to think. I have to tell myself this, 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 this. this. So I made it. And then through the healing process, because I skipped, I skipped a lot of steps. Um, luckily, my doctor was not upset. But through the healing process, one thing I did do because I remembered that people usually talk to their plants to help them grow and encourage them and they give them that love. And I said, well, I'm growing too, so I will speak with my ankle. Hmm? And so what I did was I visualized I would rub my ankle, it's the right ankle, you guys, which now has a metal plate and eight screws. Yay! <laughs> that was sarcasm. That yay was sarcasm. But I would touch my ankle and I would rub on it. And I would say, We love you and we need you. You know, we miss working with you because your body works together as a whole. So when one part is not working the other parts have to do more of the work right so i didn't want my ankle feeling bad because it's you know kind of on vacation and in the healing process so i would tell it lovingly how much we loved it we were giving you time to heal don't worry if you can't show up for work today i mean this is a real conversation don't worry if you can't show up for work today we got your back now, so when you lose a part of yourself, literally, like, you know, that part not is not working. Now, my left leg has to do most of the work, but you're also working your hips a lot more. And remember, I'm on those crutches, so I better get my upper body going too, right? So we're working harder to make this whole machine, aka me, aka my body, work, right? So I would do that. And then I would, because you know, I'm into energy. You know, I talk about great energy and the chakras, and crystals and whatnot, and whatever. And one of the things that, uh, yeah, so I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> but one of the things that I did was I put both of my feet together and I let my ankles touch the broken one and the one that's healed because I needed the energy to transfer you get it you you kind of understand what I'm saying like I needed the working foot to communicate with the non-working foot it sounds weird but it's not <laughs> It's not, you guys. So I did that. And then I would lay in bed and I would imagine myself walking and doing regular things. And because I knew I said, I can't be on bed rest for two to three months. This is ridiculous. You know, but I also need to respect my body and let it heal in its own way. Right? So I did that. I went back to the doctor wow, you're healing faster than what we had anticipated. We may be ready to start you walking early. Ha! Huh. So I smiled on the inside and the outside. And they said, well, what are you doing? And then I told them this story. You know, that one eyebrow went up like, okay, she's nuts, but all right. So I, can, I don't care about what anybody else says. <laughs> It, this is my healing, my body. So what I did from that point, I was like, okay, boom, check. We got that part done. Now let's continue. So I continued to imagine myself walking. And I said, and I would watch 
videos and stuff on YouTube and other places about how to deal and read blogs about how to deal with a broken ankle and whatnot and whatever. So long story shorter, I skipped the whole boot thing. You know how when you go back to walking, they're like, well, we're, we're going to have you start walking on your boot. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I practiced when I wasn't supposed to, so do not, this is not a good suggestion, but I practiced when I wasn't supposed to. Practice, you know, standing on my own bare foot. So everything that I did, I did without the boot, right? And so I told my physical therapist that, and I, I, I walked in there with the boot one day. The first appointment, I walked out of there with the boot in my hand and the crutches in my hand. And they said, how in the world? Because I visualize myself walking. And so when you visualize, my whole purpose, <laughs> let's let's get to the to the end part of this. My whole purpose for sharing those stories with you about creative visualization is that whatever you visualize, you're welcoming into your life. You're attracting. And so when you see it. In your mind's eye, it can be true. So what are you working on today? What, what are your things that you want to happen in your life? Is it a new job? Is it promotion? Visualize yourself already there. What do you smell in that visualization? What do you feel? What music is playing? Who's talking? What are you wearing? What are you talking about? Visualize it as if this is your own movie that you're putting together. And that's how it works, right? So I learned that great lesson. And that's how, you know, I've been finding my zen. Because you know, y'all, it's a zen thing. Come on, somebody. It's a zen thing, y'all. Finding your peace within. So share with me. Some of the creative visualization techniques that maybe you used or um, anything. I'd love to hear from you. How do you take care of yourself? Do you uh, use creative visualization? Have you ever really even heard of it? And, or have you read the book, The Secret? I love it. I saw the movie too. And I got to meet Lisa Nichols in person, but that's another story. <laughs> that was awesome. That's another story. Though. Um, I think I'll say that story for conquering your fears. <laughs> so, you guys, thank you for joining me for our Zen series. And I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful day. Peace and blessings to you all. And uh, I will see you next week because, you know, we got to keep the Zen thing going.